Here we go. Steel cage action Damn. kicking off here. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. Oh, and a knee. And a Endless knee strikes. Establishing dominance. You gotta like her chances now. Absolutely punishing. Some superstars who have competed in a triple threat match feel it's a good idea to have both a finishing move that brings you to a pinfall attempt on your opponent and a submission move that can make your opponent tap out. Given the chaotic and unpredictable nature of a triple threat, that sounds like a good plan to me. All right, we talk about the progression of steel cage matches and the type of structures that have been spawned from them. I need to point out that some cages have been electrified. One was made from bamboo in the form of a Punjabi prison match. And of course, the elimination chamber with glass pods and steel doors. And today we have the asylum match where weapons are on top of the cage. Just goes to show you that times may change, but the objective to destroy an opponent remains the same. There's still no better way to settle it. She might have it. She wants this win bad. It's heating up now. Man, look at this. That's right. Just keep going. That's it. It's over. It's over. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Natalia beginning to stumble a bit. Her opponent clearly has her number here. It looks like she's in a tremendous amount of pain right now, guys. But give her credit. Ouch. She's not backing down. She's absolutely off her game right now. And if she doesn't get it together, her night's going to be over. Putting all that power to good use. Victory is on the horizon. Looking at it here. It's all academic from here. Nice. Shut it down. The top. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. This one is over. Natalia's chances just went from bad to worse. There's a certain feeling that comes over the combatants in a steel cage match once they hear the door close and see the official lock it. The superstar must know that their body is going to be... Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. One of the most effective stretches you will ever see. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. How is Ruby Riot going to remain alive? The no disqualification stipulation in a triple threat match can take the battle in many directions, and each one is more unexpected than the next. A superstar can be attacked with a weapon and can be assaulted by an individual who's not even signed to compete in the match, and the contest will continue because everything's legal. To know that someone could bludgeon you with a sledgehammer, lay you out with a chair, or beat you with a kendo stick, or you can be attacked by someone who's not in the match, and the referee can't do anything about it. It makes things very difficult if you're on the receiving end of assaults like that. According to his big move, I do not like Natalia's chances here, guys. Targeting the arm now. I do not like Natalia's chances here, guys. And this has just been a hellacious match inside this hell in a cell. Corey, you gave us an impressive history of the origins of the steel cage match. I'd like to point out to our viewers that from the 1960s to the mid-1980s, chain-link fences were used to enclose the ring for WWE steel cage matches. A superstar could win by pinfall submission or by exiting the cage through the cage door or climbing over the top. Of and the cover for the win! Well, that was a close call. She just will not give up, Cole. Drop kick! 
she's absorbing some offense here. She might want to think about taking a breather and letting the other two women go at it for a while. Up until now, this match had all the makings of a good old-fashioned blowout. The end may be near. There's no recovering from that. That should do it. How is Ruby? We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. This one's over, guys. How is Ruby Riot going to remain alive? Before 2017's Extreme Rules, there were just three previous tag team matches where championship gold was decided inside a steel cage in the history of WWE Special Olympics. I'm paying way too much. She has to tap out. And here's another look at some incredible action from a match that we're not likely to stop talking about for a long, long time. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. Here is your winner, the Destroyer, Ron D. Rossi. She certainly looked good in that victory. Simply put, she wanted it more than the other two did tonight. And folks, I am happy to report that this triple threat match we just saw is now trending worldwide.